Hi, my name is Barry Crompton. Today I'm going to show you around our Fiat 500. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 1.2 lounge Euro 6 three door 1242 cc engine 2017 on a 17 plate has done 46,467 miles. Fuel consumption urban 51.4 miles per gallon extra urban 65.7 miles per gallon and combined is 60.1 miles per gallon has a top speed of 99 miles per hour out of a four cylinder 69 brake horsepower eight valve engine okay so <laughs> you won't lose this in a car park will you it's uh, quite a bright color i i quite like it it's got the full pan roof the chrome window surround chrome door handles multi-spoke alloy wheels it's got the cute headlights that look like they've got eyelashes on the chrome tiny grille fiat badge and then this bejeweled grille underneath body colored mirror backs kind of a integrated rear tailgate spoiler rear wash wipe again the, the chrome uh, boot handle stroke 500 badge underneath there there's an electric release let's just see if that releases yeah electric boot release too a reasonable size boot to be fair i've got my big camera bag in it and, the, and there's room for perhaps another one in there as well this tiny hard rear load cover the rear seats split 50 50 uh, individually of each other little strap here to pull the tailgate down rear parking sensors the chrome strip in the back there and <laughs> it's only a little thing but I, I like the design here so the rear light here has got a panel in the center which is body color and um, I, I, I like it <laughs> I've had to put the seat forward so let's just oh gosh <laughs> right well it's it's kind of like some medieval torture chamber in here the uh, headdress sticking right in my back and my head's touching the roof so uh, let's just get that up there sit back a little bit a uh, little bit better it's it's not really for adults in the back got two kids a couple of dogs absolutely fine or adults for a short distance it's uh, it's quite adequate I'm not sure if I if I pull the seat back like so um, that could come back a, an, another couple of inches and, and I probably wouldn't end up crippled but it's got ice fix rear Chelsea tanker points in the back here and cars lovely and you know running around town second vehicle older person's car younger person's car ideally suited it, it, it's a it's a great car nice like a fashion accessory too the interior is lovely and uh, as i say you can you won't lose it on a car park and, and people will certainly see you coming There we go. Okay, I'll just take you for a ride in it. Those are the keys you get with it. There's one remote and one just normal, kind of a spare key. So proper key blade in the ignition, foot on the clutch, make sure it's in neutral and, and that's it. Um, starts up straight away now i i love these cars i, I really do think they're fantastic um there's there's a lot of stuff going on these days about electric cars and uh economy and so on and cheap to charge this was 60 miles to the gallon i go to sorrento every year and i think there's more fiat 500s driving around in sorrento the original ones 50 and 60 years old 
um, and they'll still be going in 50 and 60 years time when EVs will be like dismantled and uh, you know and, and the batteries exploded uh, for instance I'll just these are my microphones now that's a little over 12 months old and you'll see the batteries expanded it's a lithium battery the batteries expanded so much that it's pushing the face off same happens with iPhones the same happens with Apple watches and then they try and tell you that it won't happen with cars um, that's mainly because the batteries are compressed or uh, boxed in um, clamped whatever you want to call it so that the batteries don't deform but the actual pressure that, that these batteries when they expand come up to this one um, it was charging in my in my office and I heard it go from the front room I heard it pop the front off and you obviously your EV battery is about 5,000 times bigger than that so I think when your EV battery pops <laughs> it'll go off with <laughs> you'll be lucky if your house is still standing anyway so there you go as far as economy goes it's not just how cheap it is to charge it's the overall running cost of a vehicle and these don't you know I mean I think you'd struggle really to to beat one of these anyway let's let's just see I'll just show you how to first of all let's we'll, we'll go on to the radio I'll turn that down I'll just show you how to delete a mobile from the uh, Bluetooth audio system in this uh, Fiat 500. So if we go onto phone, you'll see there no phone connected. You've got settings there, onto settings, and it shows you the phones that you can connect and a little cog at the end. Click on the little cog, it brings up a different menu, connect phone or delete phone. I want to delete phone. Do you want to delete John's phone from the phone and audio device list? Yes, that's what I want to do. So that's it, that's it deleted. I'll just show you how to pair a, a mobile now. So we go onto settings, we're looking for Bluetooth, onto Bluetooth, watching out at the bottom. So I'll, I'll just go back to radio. So from any, any screen, onto phone, you'll see there, no phone connected. Do you want to pair a phone? Now, I, I'm just gonna click no for the, for the moment because the chances are you will have another phone so we we want to do it the, the long way you've got another phone connected you want to connect another one so go to settings let's see go down here oops phone bluetooth onto phone bluetooth paired phones and audio devices we'll click on that add device so add device it's showing there pin 7376 that'll be it you connect so click on there it's actually generated the pin code so you don't need to put anything in just click on that click here yes pairing in process allow contacts and favorites to sync allow Bluetooth pairing successful, make this your favourite, well don't need to but I will and then we look for Uconnect on here, where is it, is it at the top, oh there it is Uconnect, so that's connected, that's how you do it, do you want to download your phone book and recent calls, well I, I don't, but you, you'll see there, Barry's iPhone 13 Pro connected, okay, you want to stream audio, so go to your music, we'll click on that record there playing you'll see you connect is at the bottom you connect is a, a tick next to it that means any audio that plays on your mobile if you've got this set up correctly the audio will play through the speakers now then what you have to do now I'll turn this up that's on the radio so we go to media and it's come up straight away Achilles heel top loader that's that's playing if it doesn't come up straight away you see there select source it, it may not show it could have been on auxiliary or, or usb or something like that so if it was on auxiliary you click select source click bluetooth like so like so we'll turn that up uh, and that's it brilliant system 
Right, let's get going. Um, now, I, f I find it quite difficult to get comfortable in a, a Fiat 500. The reason is that I have to put the seat so far down and I sit far back and the, the rake of the seat is quite high so it's, it's underneath my, my legs here, underneath my knees. But you probably, if you want one of these, be smaller than me and it'll be comfortable but I, I really as a car as a concept I really love these they are brilliant as I say whole life cost if you look at those 60 year old Fiat 500s driving around in Sorrento and Italy all over the place you see hundreds of them they, they must have cost less than pennies a mile to, to run less um, and they're just such a good design I mean I've got you know if I'm just driving around I, I use a Citroen Ami um, big enough to get to work very very economical this one's got a, obviously a, a heck of a lot better spec than my Citroen Ami we've got electric windows good electric door mirrors there you go you operate the electric door mirrors like so it's got a pan roof we can put that across if it's too sunny like chance would be a fine thing in the UK of course we've also got down here where you can't see I'll try and remember if I let's see if I click that up that speed limiter if I knock it down that's cruise control let's see how do I switch it on? Cruise control, all right. So I turn that forward, that switches the cruise control on. Now is that plus? Yeah, so if I, if I turn it away from me, it's plus. Now if I turn it back, it'll be minus. Yeah, that, that's knocking it, knocking it backwards. So you've got speed limiter and cruise control in this. A lot of them you only get speed limiter. It's a five-speed box. You've got height and reach adjustable and it's a multifunction steering wheel. You've got your telephone controls on the right here. We'll just click there. That's in the centre of the... You've got your speedo on the outside, circular speedo. Just inside the circular speedo, you've got the rev counter. And then in the circle in the centre, You've got your information display. On the left hand side, it's showing me what the temperature is outside, it's showing me when to change gear, it's showing you my range, it's showing you the display that cruise control is on but it's been cancelled, how many miles we've done, and then on the right hand side, um, the fuel gauge, and temperature gauge on the left hand side, sorry. The dash, the display, we've got here city power steering. Just see if that shows. Showing city in the centre there, so the steering is nice and light. I'll knock that off because it's, to be honest, it's pretty it's light enough. You've got air con, so that's air con on and off. Your fan, all proper switches, hot and cold, where you want the air coming in whether you want it coming in from outside or whether you want to recirculate where you want the air going and your heated rear screen I think that, is that stop start? yeah that's stop start so we'll knock stop start off just a, a very very well equipped vehicle there's your electric windows USB and auxiliary in two cup holders although they look like tiny cup holders, they look like a sort of can of Red Bull size. Perhaps that's what they expect you to drink if you drive one of these. And just a retro styling, which I, I really love. I, I, like the, I like the cream, I like, I like the like old Golf GTI seats, Fiat 500. And then the metal panel in the centre, the orange panel to match the body colour.
I don't think it's a car that you'll be going up the motorway in very often. But uh, I think even so, we'll nip up the motorway today. Sounds great, the sound system's pretty good. You get there, if I click that, your trip computer. So that's giving you trip A, trip B, your range, and your current miles per gallon. If I click in the end here, the, the button in the end, that changes the display in the center of the speedo. So that's telling me distance A, average consumption, average miles per gallon, instantaneous consumption, average speed, and you know, all, all the information that you could possibly need. If I click on audio there, there you can change where the sound's coming from. If you're anything like me, you'll set it up for the driver and forget about everybody else in the car. So nippy, easy to park. Let's just see and get that back. There you go. We'll do. We'll do with that. There's your phone. Phone ready. Caravan hasn't sold. I'm not an expert on caravans, but it doesn't look like 950 quid's worth of me. See what it's like at 70. I mean, if you work it through the gears as well, it's uh, it's quite a nippy thing. That's 60 miles an hour. Let's go for 70, so that's 70. Turn the cruise on there. Pretty quiet. Certainly wouldn't complain at that myself. It's a nice light and airy. It's only a little car, but with the pan roof, makes it seem a heck of a lot bigger. You know, I, I mean, I, I've actually, some cars, I have to put the seats all the way back and, you know, you, you're up against the, the stops. But this, um, uh, I think it's probably because it's higher up, so my legs are bent and down, that I don't need to be as far away from the steering wheel as I would normally sit. So... Um, I think, actually, I'm just going to nip off here. Won't go so far today because I'm a bit late today. Got lots to do. You know, what, what a great car. We, we've had it in a couple of weeks, actually. I'm surprised it's not sold already, but never got round to videoing it because we've been, uh, we, you know, we've got quite a few more expensive cars. Um, it doesn't matter how much the cars are that we sell, we always try, well, we, we treat the customers the same, certainly, and we try and market them the same by doing videos and, 
and photographs in the description, but it's kind of human nature when you've got one at seven grand and you've got one at 40 grand, you're going to do the 40 grand one to, to try and sell that quicker. So anyway, concerted effort this week. Um, I've kind of changed or had to change the way I've been doing videos because way behind and it takes too long. So um, I've tried to do it a different way today. The earlier bit, walking around the car, I don't know how that will do. So I can, I'll, I'll apologize here if, uh, well, I'll do two. <laughs> my, my, my new way of filming is really good. I'm so pleased I've done it. Or I'm awfully sorry about the first bit where I walk around. It's a complete dog's dinner. So pick one of those. Nice light clutch, good gearbox. Just everything, really, really sporty. In Sorrento every year, there's a, there's a Fiat 500 procession. I'm just a bit too far back there, that's just a bit awkward. Yeah, there's a Fiat 500 procession and uh, there's some beautiful cars. And I always say about this, this chap with a Fiat 500 convertible absolutely mint must be worth a fortune only a few left in the world and 50 years old yeah well you were really in the wrong lane mate so don't be shaking your head at me Great gearbox. <clears throat> and if you're a Blackpool supporter, a tangerine, then uh, this will be good for you. I won't mention that my best mate scored a goal against Blackpool <laughs> when he was sat on his backside in the penalty area and it bounced off his head. And he's still hating for it to this day. He played for Preston North End. But don't... <laughs> Don't let that stop you from buying it. It's a great car. I mean, honestly, I, I can tell I'm smiling because I love driving these little cars. I'd like it even more if I was in Sorrento and not Preston, but, you know, it's... Uh, it where you can. Just a joy to drive. Okay, well, I think I'll finish the test drive there. Just coming to the railway level crossing. Not the best place to cross either without looking where you're going. Yeah, as, as I expected, whenever you come here, the level crossing is always down and there's always a huge wait. So that's it. Great spec, lovely little car, all the good things, proper handbrake, proper ignition switch, good color, nice seats, nice and good. Very, very comfortable as well. Again, the lady we, we took this off was uh, quite diminutive and, and um, 
well, look, she was lovely. So it's belonged, or it's belonged to a good owner and being well looked after. So thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the next video. And I'll just wait for the train to come. See you later. Bye-bye.